Hi, my little unicorn. Boo Boo has another book that I'm going to read for you. This was one of my favourites when I was a little kid. Snuggle Pot and a Cuddle Pie. This book is about two little gum nut babies that live in the bush in the trees. So I decided to do this one outside. Is that a bit cute? I think so. In the big gum trees live the little gum nut babies. Snuggle Pot and Cuddle Pie lived with their family among the leaves of the very tallest gum. One day, their friend, Mrs. Kookaburra, came to visit. Tell us a story, Cuddle Pie begged. Tell us about humans, dead Snuggle Pot. That's what we are, humans. Mrs. Kookaburra leant in close and began her yarn. A yarn is a story. Hey, puppy. Humans are as strong as the wind, swift as the river, and fierce as the sun. Humans are taller than the biggest branch on the biggest gum tree in all the land. The younger nuts gasped and huddled closely together. I want to see a human, said Snugglepot. But what if humans are as bad as bad, said Cuddle Pie. We don't know what we might find. That's what makes it so exciting, said Snugglepot. Cuddle Pie seemed unsure. Before dawn, when everyone was still asleep, Snugglepot and Cuddle Pie crept out of bed. They were off to find a human. The road was hot and dusty as the two small gum nuts walked further than they ever had before. Where are you going? asked Biz Big Lizabiz. Biz 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 Where are you going? asked a Biz. Biz. Where are you going? asked a big lizard basking on a rock by the roadside. We're going to see humans, said Snugglepot. But only in the distance, added Cuddle Pie. Can I come too? asked the friendly lizard. And so Mr. Lizard joined their friends, uh, joined the friends on their adventure. As the sun travelled across the sky, the friends came across a marvellous festival. There were nuts and blossoms dancing under glowing lanterns. It's kind of like little gum nut people. One blossom was sitting alone, so Snugglepot asked her to dance. Ragged Blossom was so happy. Look at dancing. When the next morning came, they prepared to set off once more. Where are you going? Ragged Blossom asked. We're going to see humans, declared Snugglepot. But only in the distance, said Cuddle Pie. Can I come too? asked the lonely blossom. And so the four new friends continued on their way. The friends stopped to rest when out of the bushes they heard a faint voice calling, Help me! Help me! They ran towards the sound. The four friends discovered a terrible thing. A baby possum was caught in a steel cage, crying for help. Who did this to you? asked Mr. Lizard. Humans, whispered the possum. Humans. What can we do? asked Ragged Blossom. Just then, a great noise sounded on the breeze. <laughs> Humans! Humans, cried Cuddle Pie. The friends hid. It's a giant, murmured Snugglepot as he peered over a branch. It looks like us, marvelled Cuddle Pie. Hmm. Rotten traps, said the human. Don't worry, little possum. I'll get you out. Snugglepot and Cuddle Pie looked on curiously as the human gently released the possum. I wonder if all humans are kind to bush creatures like that, said Cuddle Pie. As Mr. Lizard helped the frightened possum, I hope so, 
said Ragged Blossom. The possum thanked the friends and went on his way. Hooray! We have seen a human, said Snugglepot. But only in the distance, said Cuddlepie. What shall we do next, asked Snugglepot, as they walked into the bush. And so began the adventures of Snugglepot and Cuddlepie. Wow, they're two little curious people, aren't they? Little gumnut people. Okay, it's time for bed. Good night, Luna.